Hey there, Sharon here. Okay, I have got a question for you today. When you ask your students skills, how do you ask for them? So, do you ask your student to play a scale of G major or D major? Or do you ask your student to play the scale that has, you know, so for example, play me the scale that has got two sharps in it? Or play me the harmonic minor scale with two sharps in the key signature? I did this some time ago um, and I used key signature cards. So they had to look at the card and I would have simply said major scale. They're seeing two sharps and they've got to figure out which note to start on. And this was really quite illuminating for me because, gosh, it made them think. I mean, so much more because when we ask students to play, let's take that example of D major, they immediately know where to begin. We've just asked them to start on D. And even if they're not completely clear about what the notes are in the D major scale, have you ever noticed that, you know, they'll stick probably the right fingers down on those notes and they'll just get going, they'll give it a whirl, even if they're not entirely clear about what notes to play. And then sometimes it just ends badly. They really hadn't cottoned on to the fact that D major has F sharp and C sharp. So by using key signatures, cards to ask scales, I find that my students gained a really deep understanding in the following three ways. So I'm just going to illustrate those ways now. Number one, they understand what black keys to play in the scale. So rather than just being asked to play E major, they'd look at the card and once they'd worked out what they'd start on, they'd play the scale knowing that it has four sharps. Sometimes if it's a fairly new scale, I will also ask students to rhythmically say out loud the letter names of the scale before playing it. So let's say they've just started to, to learn, let's say a week or two weeks before the E major scale. I will then ask them to say out loud um, the letter names. So once I have asked them, I'm just going to find this key signature card, it's around here somewhere. Okay, so, okay, there we go. I'm going to be a little bit more organised, have the cards ready. So, you're giving them this and saying, okay, I'd like you to play me the major, or say aloud, the letter names of the major scale, and they're going to say E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B. C sharp, D sharp, E, and then they can come back down again, or you could ask them to go up two octaves and back down again. So it's really getting them to focus by not saying play me E major, it's getting them to focus on what's in the key signature. Second thing is they get a chance to really understand and develop their ability to identify the key of a piece of music or sight reading. So, I mean, how many times have you had a student they look at the key signature and they've got this glazed expression and you know, you just know they have absolutely no idea what key the piece is in. So by asking them their scales using key signature cards, they start to make better connections. So you give them, let's find another one, okay, there is this one. And you say, okay, I'd like you to play me the harmonic minor scale. Okay, so they are then going, yep, yeah, okay, that's G minor. So the next time they have a piece of music or a piece of sight reading, they're quickly linking into, because it's the way you've been asking them their scales, they're getting to practice it. Third thing is they are going to understand more deeply about relative keys. So when you present a card, the one thing that you do need to specify is whether you want them to play the major scale or harmonic minor scale or melodic minor scale or natural minor scale. And again, this links back to helping them work out what key a piece is in. Yeah, so again, they know when they see two sharps in the key signature, 
that it might be D major or it might be B minor, in which case in this piece they're going to be looking out for accidentals of, of A sharp, the raised seventh, to determine whether it's the major or the relative minor key. So this is how you will get this resource. Okay, you've got two sheets, you just simply print them out and then like I have done here, you just get cutting, um, grab yourself a nice cup of coffee, pair of scissors and you can keep them in, um, in cups or in little pots, again for different levels of student, so if you are, let's say, you're a UK based teacher and you maybe have all of the particular scales that are needed for a grade 3 exam, for example, it's all in one little box. Um, and most importantly, you can create this resource for your students to actually use at home as well. Um, and again, they might have their own little cups or pots for identifying which scales are fluent or which scales are needing work. So they get to kind of drop into the boxes depending on where that particular scale is. So hey, I hope you really enjoy this and I would love to hear from you. Just let me know, drop me an email. My email is Sharon at CuriousPiano.org and just let me know how you're getting on with asking scales using the key signature cards. Okay, have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.